Officers in the Winding Cove in the EDZ is currently selling the Season of the Worthy seasonal armor, specifically the Activity armor. This is pretty cool armor set. Uh, personally, I really, really like it. Uh, I think the Warlock, the helmet is super cool. I think the chest piece can be very serviceable. The boots can be used for like something super simplistic. And I think the arm and the bond, specifically the bond is pretty terrible, but the arm is like okay-ish. Just be aware if I remember correctly, the yellow stripes do not change color. Other than that, I think the best bet is going to be the helmet itself. So as for the armor itself, we're going to be looking at the seven set of gloves. It's high mobility, way too high mobility. This one's decent. Um, yeah, this one's okay. I mean, seven mobility, I still hate it, but it's, it's decent. And this one has really high resilience, which is really nice. Um, it would be a 26 once masterwork, a 36 if you put a, a whatchamacallit on it. Uh, it's pretty okay. Uh, hopefully I showed you how it, how it shaders. It shaders fine. Like I said, it's just the yellow will never change color, unfortunately. So Warlock, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I personally, like I said, the helmet is going to be amazing. Boots are pretty good for simplistic looks. Chest piece is okay. And arms and bond are like whatever. Specifically, the bond is pretty terrible because it doesn't change color if I remember correctly. As for the Titans, I've seen some people use the arms in really good ways. The chest piece is okay. To be, I'm going to be real honest with you guys. I think the Titans have the weakest uh, pieces of them all for Season of the Worthy, specifically the activity armor. I think it's just not that great. Uh, the arms, I think, are usable. I've seen someone do some really cool things with it. Uh, hopefully, I can have a picture of it right now. If not, I do apologize. The chest piece again, the yellow is not going to change color, which is really, really big. But you can also probably use this with like a tactical look because it does have like a like a ammo belt on both sides of the chest. The mark is pretty boring, if I remember correctly. And the helmet, I think, is serviceable as I think it you could actually use this one. And then the boots, I've also seen people do some really cool things. So personally, the arms, the helmet and the boots are really good. If you want something simplistic, the bond, the mark is really good and the chest piece is like very finicky. Like you will, you will have to work around this one. So for the armor itself, we're going to be looking at seven server gauntlets, which I'm just going to ignore this one. Also ignore this one. Uh, also ignore this one. Also ignore this one to wait. Uh, obviously too high mobility. That's why I'm ignoring all of these, but Titan, let me know what you guys think. Again, I always say this, just pick up the whole thing if you can afford it because you might never know when it can come clutch because again, sometimes like you'll just see an armor set and you're gonna be like, oh shit, this is gonna be good with this one chest piece that like this one specifically, oh, it's gonna look good with this. So just, I'd rather be safe than sorry. This is my motto when it comes to armor. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. As for the hunters, I think uh, there are some usable pieces here. I think the arms are a little too bulky. The chest piece can actually be used with like a very bulky tactical look. The cloak, I think, can be used, although I personally don't like it. Personally, I just don't like it. But if you like it, I mean, you can use it. Uh, the helmet, I think, is usable as well. And I, the boots, I think, are actually the best piece from the whole set because that one's going to be the best piece for a tactical bulky look, which is I've done a few sets with that. So again, these armor sets are not the best. Personally, I think the season of the worthy activity armor was probably the worst we've ever had. Uh, aside from maybe season of the season of dawn i think the armored down version of the virtuous set was just terrible but this one i think is just also probably it's probably still worse but I mean, virtuous set's still pretty bad um or the non like the the activity armor so as for the actual armor sets them, or pieces themselves this one's decent um yeah, this one's decent. I probably wouldn't get this because I have better arms, but you can do like recovery, bump it up to a 26, and then you can put powerful friends so you can get a, a 33. Right? Yeah, 33. So 33 and 26, or you can bump up the resilience to have a 12. So you'll have 10 on, uh, or at least 10, minimum of 10 for mobility, resilience, and recovery. Uh, mobility will have actually plus three um it's almost the same thing as the last one um pretty cool i guess this one you would have to pick though which one you would want powerful friends though uh really high resilience which is pretty cool i would probably pick this up maybe strength is really high as well and then this one's uh, 
this one's fine actually uh because if you bump up the recovery to a 16 and masterwork this you, you'll have an 18 10 18 which is pretty cool mm, but yeah hunters let me know what you guys think in the comments below again all these shade are pretty well like aside from the yellow that will never change color other than that every piece does change color if i remember correctly i'm not seeing the armor sets themselves in front of my face right now but from what i remember they're like decent aside from again the yellow that does not change color as for the weapons themselves we're going to be looking at Vel Velpecula encore headstone i'm going to ignore this because it's 180 uh farewell tunnel vision and multi-kill clip which is pretty cool for a uh, pvp loadout extra extra extraordinary rendition surplus and tap the trigger this is pretty good i i'm not gonna pick this up but it's pretty good for like pvp uh fract this quick draw and thresh the only reason i'm looking at this one is because precision frames are getting a buff next season well i think it's a buff because it's like like an oval shaped pattern which if you hit your shot could instantly kill someone so i don't know i might pick this up small bore accurate rounds i think thresh is the only like kind of shitty perk from that but i'm probably i'm, de I'm definitely going to check my fractalist because i do think i have a bit like a god roll far future lead from gold thresh i'm going to ignore that falling guillotine right i'm going to ignore that stars and shadows oof i definitely want to ignore this <laughs> yeah i'm going to ignore that so yeah let me know what you guys think about the weapons themselves as for the exotics we have hawkman with snapshot sights interesting and dead man's hell with killing wind <clears throat> let's actually look at what it for those of you who are interested we have extended barrel power magazine and combat grip i think all of these change right if i remember correctly been a minute uh small bore flare magwell killing wind and fit stock so that's pretty much it let's see we have cerberus plus one this is personally one of my favorite weapons uh not because it's super powerful but just because it's super fun and i really like the the animation to change the shooting i think that's super cool formless crown with if you don't have it pick it up it's really good but i it's it's like whatever it's gonna be real <clears throat> damn peregrine greaves with pretty nasty rolls i would bump up the recovery to a 23 17 resilience is completely fine for me and strength at 20 is already gross for paragon so this is actually i might actually pick this up and then skull of dire dire Ahamkara, i'm unfortunately even if it had a good roll i probably wouldn't pick it up because the exotic is trash so let's actually see what i'm going to be picking up right now hopefully it's looking good so like not good mm, 20 resilience i'll keep it fuck it why not so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below i have so much stuff planned i just beat the callisto protocol like 10 minutes ago it was wild wild ride i will have that on my second channel if you guys don't know i have a second channel it's right here if you guys want to check it out but i'm going to be posting that um probably tomorrow hopefully i can make this video fast if not this will actually go saturday because i'm recording this obviously on friday so hopefully if this does go up on today by friday then Callisto protocol episodes will start tomorrow on saturday if not if i post this on saturday then it'll literally post like almost right after this if not like at the same time maybe but yeah i have my second channel that i'm working on i'm currently obviously working on destiny 2 stuff we're going to be doing nezarax sin for sunday or saturday I don't think Saturday, I don't like to post more than two videos a day, but we might post it on Sunday because Tuesday, obviously we're going to be doing a bunch of stuff. We have a lot of content to go through the new seasons out, which means new season, new armors, you know, all the spiel. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to keep up with the content, remember hit the subscription, hit the notification bell to keep, uh, to keep up with the content because obviously you'll be informed when I put content. So Thank you guys. I appreciate y'all and I'll see you guys later.